On the somber morning of January 5th, a memorial service was held for the Newman officer, Ronnie Sin, at the Cross Point Community Church in Modesto, California. Just the day before, flags were waving in the city of Newman. Hundreds of people were waiting outside the West Side Theater in downtown Newman to say their final goodbyes to Sin before his casket left the town. He was a very good, good friend. He did a lot for our town. He's going to be very, very badly missed. Panetta has been living in Newman for 12 years. She was arrested two times by Officer Sin when she was on drugs. However, she's really thankful for that. He helped me. He saved my life. It's because of Officer Sin that I'm doing very well today. She is one of the many who stood in line to pay their respects to the officer and his family. When I heard about it, I felt hurt. You know, a man doing his job and what happened to him in that day for a, a traffic stop. Sin, a native of Fiji who dedicated his life to law enforcement, was gunned down on duty early on December 26. The suspect, Pablo Mendoza, also known as Gustavo Perez Arriaga, an illegal immigrant and a gang member, was arrested on December 28. Mendoza was arrested twice before for drunk driving. However, California's sanctuary law prevented local authorities from reporting Mendoza to ICE. Each time they could not let the federal authorities know that this person is illegal alien. Had they done that, he would not be here today. And Officer Ronil Singh would be alive today. And we need to do more and strive more to deport them on the first crime they commit, not wait for a tragedy like this to happen. It could have been prevented. The suspect is now in custody and is being charged with murder. However, the people of California don't feel safer because they know there could be more illegal criminals walking around. Michael Behrens has been living in Newman since 1996. He was shocked when he heard about the death of Sin. I never thought I'd see some an officer being shot in this community, and I think it's the first time that's ever happened. Like other residents, he doesn't think the sanctuary law will prevent this from happening again. I don't support the sanctioned states at all because I think uh, there's a lot of problems that come with that. During the protest on January 1st in Newman, residents expressed their concern about border security. So how are we going to stop that? And the best way to stop it is to make sure they don't get here. And one of the ways we'll do that, of course, is a, is a wall. But to strengthen the borders, I'd absolutely go for it because in the end he was killed by somebody who should not have been here in the first place. So will we see another officer seeing shooting? Yes. That's, I think that's pretty much guaranteed we'll see something like this again and we'll see more angel parents until we stop this nonsense. NTD News.